Hi guys, today what I'm going to show you is how I make my homemade sweet bread. So in this bowl I'll beat three eggs. I'll leave it off to the side. Now that my three eggs are off to the side, I'll take two cups of this pineapple juice which was sitting at room temperature along with three-fourths cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. Then I'll mix that. Then I'll add in my melted butter, which is eight tablespoons. So to my pineapple juice and sugar, I added in one teaspoon of vanilla extract, eight tablespoons of butter, which is a half a cup, and it's melted butter. So I'll mix this all together. In my mixing bowl, I'll place three cups of flour. So out of the six cups, I have three cups of flour in my mixing bowl. I'll place my three eggs that I stirred. I have my oven on 350 because you bake this bread for about 25 to 30 minutes or until the top is golden brown. Now I'll sprinkle in two packages of the rapid rye yeast. Mix well. Now I'll pour the pineapple juice, the sugar, the vanilla, the melted butter. Now I'll add the other three cups of flour. Mix until well combined. The dough should feel tacky, not sticky. So if it feels a little sticky, just add some extra flour in. So to me, this looks a little tacky, so I'm just going to add in a little bit more flour. Now the dough doesn't look too tacky, it's just a little sticky. I'll turn my mixer off. On my counter, here's the other half of flour. So that was a total of six and a half cups of flour, plus a little extra that I placed in my bowl. So I'll take this out, put it on my counter. I placed a little on my counter. Place a little more flour on top. Now I'll knead this for about 10 minutes. This bread is really good.
I'm using my dough scraper. Once you're done kneading your dough, place it in a bowl, cover it, and you want it to double in size. It'll probably take about an hour. Put it in a nice warm spot. You can see that the dough is not sticky, it's just a little tacky, and that's what you want. So I added another half a cup of flour, so it's a total of seven cups that I used. Now I'll place this in my bowl. It's ungreased. I'll put a towel on top. So now I have my dough underneath my heat lamp. I'll let it sit until it doubles in size. It should take about an hour. Then I'll remove the dough from the bowl. Knead the dough again and if you need a little bit more flour, you know, add the flour. Then knead it about 10 to 15 times, making sure all the flour is well incorporated. Then you can either turn it into dinner rolls or bread. It's been about an hour and a half. Oh yeah, that doubled in size. So now I'll place this on top of my counter with a little bit more flour. I have an 11 by 5 pan that I sprayed with cooking spray. And I'll place my dough inside here cover it again and let it rise. Place a little flour. I'll put a little flour in my hand. So now I'll place it in my greased pan. So now I have my dough in my greased pan. I'll put the towel back on top, place it under my heat lamp, and let it rise again. Probably be another hour. Then I'll place it in my 350 degree oven for about 25-30 minutes or until the top is nice golden brown. So now I'll check my bread. Oh, that looks perfect. See how it doubled in size? So now I have my oven on 350. I'll place my bread in the oven and bake it for about 25, 30 minutes or until the top is a nice golden brown. So into the oven it goes. Looking good. I sliced into the sweet bread. Look at how nice this looks. I put a little butter on. Now I'll give it a try. Mmm. Very, very good. Mm-mm-mm. Kind of reminds me of the Hawaiian sweet bread. Mmm. It really came out good.